I was asked um, to bring one image and uh, speak five minutes about it. And I thought maybe to bring the image that everybody's been seeing the whole day, or maybe the whole after the last month or so. Um, <laughs> Um, I think five minutes to speak about an image is a, an, a question for provocation. So this image is actually a production shot that was taken during the one-day shoot of a piece called La Javanese, which I usually describe, in, when I describe it as short as possible, I describe it as a filmic um, exercise or a filmic experimentation which centers on the circular, circularity of relations between the, a Dutch textile company dealing with Africa, former colonies then called the East Indies, and the display of colonial history. Filmed in almost all of the spaces of the former Colo colonial institute, which is now called the Troppen Museum, and also uh, part of it is Troppen, Tropical Institute, which is exactly the building that we're in. Um, <laughs> This museum actually plays a role in the, uh, like is one of the characters of the, of the piece. This work features unrehearsed dialogues between fashion model Sonia Wanda, the artist and theorist or writer Charles Landvrucht, who is actually here with us, um, and the theorist David Dibosa. So then after that I would go on to saying something like, staged but not improvised, no, stage but improvised, in the museum spaces, spaces, La Javanese addresses the inextricable, inextricable link between imagination and authenticity and between colonialism and globalization. I will show you uh, 23 seconds of a piece that is normally seen in about 50 minutes. Oh, they're flown in from everywhere. Yes. Oh. It's, uh, it's, it's really wonderful. So you are an Oslo girl flown in to work for a Dutch company that does African prints in an Indian style. Yes, because <laughs> last time it was very futuristic and wonderful shapes and then... So I think, <clears throat> without taking the time to talk about this piece, I would just like to say that my work addresses the entanglements between the present condition in Europe and its relations, old and new, within and without. But as seen from here, since I am from here, I have to add, and I will be the first one to defend the importance of looking at these connections with an open attitude towards their past and their meaning and imprint of today, on today. Which is what this conference sets out to do, I suppose. I still need to say that I have a question, or let's say I have a problem, with the term art after the global turn. So let me first perhaps explain that my drive for making the works is to problematize the seemingly smooth relationship, uh, relationships under our current condition of globalization, both in the way the world has started to be organized and travelable and, and the relations that have changed within local situations and how the art system is functioning within that. The, co the connections are obviously not smooth, also not for artists. They are full of frictions coming from imprints of former times, neglect, amnesia in the present, or still lingering on uh, complexes, superiority and inferiority, as well as the complex entanglements that create all the shades and nuances of these. But besides that, there are also lesser visible lines of contact and engagement, personal affinities, solidarities and commitments, also old and new. So focusing on the moment which indeed, in which indeed world relations changed quite dramatically, like what I suppose the global turn stands for, does in my opinion not help really to review our relationship with the world seen from different localities, which I think is in the need of reviewing. So maybe one of the things could be that we could start looking at the connection that already existed, connections that already existed before that turn, and, we have, uh, and that we are having trouble, and we still are having trouble actually, to be recognized for what they were. And uh, for instance, one of the things that was very, very nice today is that I was at Vincent Mason's talk, um, speaking about like, new ways of trying to understand certain relations between a modernist artist uh, from the Congo and its, uh, its reception, both in Europe and maybe elsewhere. 
to be um, so very important moments of international solidarity have passed or simply exchanges of ideas in very fluid and, and at times very political ways. And all of these have taken place all over the centuries before this, but we can look at them in the 20th century actually quite closely and they are actually, I think they are there to be recognized still. So there would be too many examples of the various modes of contact, interchange, productivity to mention here, something that Christian Cavagna, for example, has tried to do in an overview which was published in the Texas to Kunst in September last year. But for my own knowledge, I can point out some very strong moments in the avant-garde in Brazil, for example, in the 1950s, when not only modern art from there was developed in a very specific and impressively coherent way by Alicia Clark and her contemporaries. For example, we could look at the 1954 work by Alicia Clark called The Discovery of the Organic Line, which is so beautifully described and contextualized by the important Brazilian artist and writer Ricardo Basbaum. But also other avant-garde was push pushing ahead with a socially related uh, with soci more socially related art and cultural transformations. In Bahia, in the same time, the Bahia is the north of Brazil, in the north of Brazil, a group of artists, musicians, filmmakers, amongst whom the Italian-Brazilian architect Lina Bobardi and the filmmaker Glaba Rocha, were intervening in an amazingly experimental way in the production and perception of art, musea, and education. We can easily compare their development of thought to avant-garde movements like Situationist International and the experimental project of New Babylon by the artist Constant within this, only that they were working from their specific lo local context and conditions, but certainly they were linked. I'm asking myself if it is productive to focus on a certain global turn after which the world outside of Europe and the US was so to say discovered as a potential field, why do we not think about the importance and, and the neglect of the already existing interchanges and emphasize the work to be done to allow all of that to be part of an art history or of an awareness in general, which is, a more widely, which is then more widely passed on, which might then start to adjust some of the current views as well. Thank you. Thank you.